Okay, the 3x3x5 three by three by is now completely sanded and stickered. So I'll be making a solve video. So with the 3x3x5, three by three by before doing the shape shifting moves like this, you have to scramble it with these kinds of moves because when you do the shape shifting moves, it bandages the top and bottom. Like, bandages these pieces and these pieces together so we've got to scramble it to get those mixed around first because otherwise it's just a big shape shifting three by three so once you've scrambled those around you can then start doing these and now it just turns like a three by three so just keep scrambling it like that until it looks like a good enough scramble. Oops, we had a little pop there. Okay, that seems like a good scramble. So now I'll solve it and explain what I'm doing when I do it. So the first step to solve it is solving these middle three layers, like a three by three, and I solve white cross first, so I would find the white center, in this case a black center, and use that as the cross. So I already have this blue edge done, and then I see this orange edge for here, so I would do that, and then the red edge and the green edge. So after that, I would do, I see this pair, and if I'm not sure if that's the right corner, if it's the white one or the yellow one, I can turn it down like this and see that it matches with the blue and it matches with the orange. So, but I knew it was the right one, so now I did that pair. I see this red and green one, but it may not be the right one. Yeah, that's the, this is the red, green, and yellow corner. So when it's solved, that would be right here. So here's the red, green, and white corner. If you were solving it like a three by three. So like if it was a three by three there'd be white on this corner. So now I see the red and blue corners are right here and the edge is right there. This is the red, blue and white corner I can see because it lines up with the red center and would line up with the blue one. And since white would be here, and red and blue edges here, I can just solve that like so. And then I see this corner with the edge right here, so. Now you can see the middle two layers are solved right here, so now I just have to do the top middle layer. So I can see for OLL I have a dot case and I don't remember this one because I always avoid dot cases while solving. So I'll do the algorithm for that. Okay, now I know this OLL. So now it's on to PLL and I've got parity, which, so two edges have to switch because this edge and this edge are exactly the same, so they can be interchanged, which gives a parity. So if you look at these, this is not a PLL that you could normally get. So to solve it, you just turn the middle layer up, so M prime U2. Um, then now I've just got a T term, so I'll do that, 
now it's done being solved like a three by three on the insides. So the next step is to orient the centers. This is how I solve it. I figured it out myself. So I solve it like five by five last two centers. So I can turn that up and put it there. So now I've got a two by three by three block or two by three block. Then I can put that up, so I've got another 2 by 3 block, and then I've just got the corner, so I can solve that. Okay, so then the next step for how I solve it would be to do permute the corners. So I use square one corner algorithms for it, so I'll do that. And now that I've got the corners permuted, you can see that on this side I have a U-perm that goes in this direction, and on this side it's a U-perm going in this direction. So the way I solve edges is I just do this algorithm, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, and it flips this whole chunk except that's fine because you always do it an even number of times so it won't like so it'll always be end up getting solved again so then I have to switch these adjacent edges so I set them up so they're opposite then I do the algorithm and then now I solved that Layer. So now I do the same thing for this side. And then I've just got an adjacent swap again. So solve that. And now it is solved. So now I'll show other stuff about it like it corner cuts pretty good for what it is it can corner cut about here on the top layer so almost like so this line is lined up with it oh it can do that now okay yeah, so it can cut like here and any further it'll lock up then the inner layers cut like here no inner layers don't cut as well they cut about here a little less and they need to be forced a lot more like this doesn't need as much force to corner cut and I noticed it's easier to corner cut the lower your hands are so. Then the mechanism for it here. Mechanism for this is whoops. The mechanism is like a three by three mechanism except they're split in half with like a Z shape and that like so they can turn like that so there's an edge and then here's a corner so that's the mechanism Bye.